must be the Auntie Beauty Queen, and no, it is not Gilbert Godfrey. It is me. I am sick, but I wanted to put out this video, and I mean, I don't know if you have ever been nasally sick like me. I have been living off of echinacea spray, cough drops, and Tylenol for the past week. If you saw my Instagram, I posted the most attractive picture of me in all time, and it was just like me and my bare beauty and like snot all over my face and just, you know, this is how it is. But I really wanted to get a video out there, but I do apologize if I sound horrendous and I am just the most annoying voice you will have to hear today. You can mute it because I'm going to show you some stuff today because I got my Ipsy and my Beauty Box 5 and they've been both sitting on my desk for about a week and a half now and I really 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 want to see what's in it but I also promised that I would do an Ipsy versus Beauty Box 5. I think I've done now two. This is my third one. So without further ado guys, let's see who wins this month's subscription battle. So I'm going to start off with Ipsy because you already know I absolutely love the package. Every time this is in my mailbox, I feel like Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian drop this in because it looks like a mermaid's tail. So let's see what's in the bag. So this is what the bag for October looks like. It is so cute. It looks like a little clutch and I don't know if it'll pick up well on the camera, but it is a beautiful emerald green color and I'm really, really, really hoping that this month is geared for Halloween or darker colors. I have not looked on Ipsy. I have not looked at anybody else's videos because I wanted to be surprised. So fingers crossed it has something to do with like autumn feel and colors. So looking at the card, I think I might be half right. I think it's going to go with candy themed because of Halloween, but unfortunately by the looks of the card, it looks like it's all pastels. And I mean, pastels are spring, not October. So hopefully this is just like a, a promotion for something else and not this box because I don't want I do not want pastels for October but looking at this card I think it's gonna be pastel-y sugary colors so mm. so first thing that's in the actual bag and not the ipsy bag is this ecru am I even saying that right ecru ecru New York protein BB cream and I had to read the directions because it is for your hair this stuff has no parabens and it's color safe so it says here that you just put a little bit in your hair you work it to the ends and it helps with extremely dry hair I've never used a BB cream for my hair before so I'm pretty excited for that and I don't know if you can tell but I chopped off a lot of my hair at the beginning of this month so all of the dead crappy ends are completely gone so I'm trying to start fresh with some new hair get this stuff completely soft because my hair dries out so hopefully this does the trick and I'm really excited to try this out. So this thing popped right out of the bag as soon as I opened it and it is some Skyn Iceland cleansing cloths and I absolutely love cleansing cloths especially when I'm going places like a trip and I don't want to always have to wash my face especially if I'm going to a theme park and then straight to dinner I can literally wipe off all the sweat and grime off my face with these so all of the cleansing cloths that I have kind of accumulated in Ipsy and Beauty Box 5, I've been storing away because I am going to Disney World. So throwing this in my purse and then using it will be a lifesaver. So the next thing that I see is absolutely adorable. The packaging could not be cuter and it is Roseberry Figs and Rouge hand cream. Now this stuff has shea butter and I am absolutely excited because again it's going to be winter soon here in Canada and as you can see I'm already wearing a toque because I am so freaking cold. Honestly having hand cream is like a necessity for us Canadians because our, our skin gets so unbelievably cracked and dry because of the weather that I am more than willing to accept hand cream in every single subscription box. Now I'm gonna take a sniff. I don't know how well I'll be able to smell because obviously I can't breathe through my nose, but fingers crossed I can smell something. I don't know if it's because I'm sick, but all I'm smelling is like candy, but like medicine candy, like vitamins, chewable vitamins. I don't know if that's just because my senses are a little off. I'm using it and it's really wet, the hand cream. It's like really, really wet and greasy. So, oh, I don't know. Is this going to be like a really bad sample? Yeah, it smells awful. It really, it smells like oranges, but it smells like vitamin C chewable, like Flintstone vitamins. And it's really like not sitting well. It's not like 
moisturizing my skin. It's just making it feel wet and gross. So, I don't know. That's not really... The packaging is really cute, but other than that, I don't know if I'll be using that because that smell is horrible and it's just like, it's not feeling nice on my skin. So, no. The next thing in the Ipsy bag is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow. And this is literally like the same color as the bag. And this is Jessie's Girl Mineralized Baked Powder Eyeshadow. And I'm trying to get this protective seal on, which I always love to see in a subscription box is a factory seal. Cause you don't know whose hands have been all over this makeup. So it's really, really light and it's really, really, really shimmery. But I think the color alone is so gorgeous. And having darker complexions, I think that anything emerald, purples, they look fantastic on. So I'm really excited for this. The color itself is very light, so I think I'm going to have to obviously put on more. But it is gorgeous. The last thing in the box is some City Color B Matte Lipstick. And this is in the M7 Cappuccino color. And it is really nice. It's a nice color. I feel like we've gotten something from Color City before. And I feel like it was almost the exact same lip shade. So, I mean, I don't know. I do think that we had a lip color last time from City Color. Um, I'm going to do another swatch and see just what it looks like. So that is what it looks like. That is what the color is, and it's a really like orangey tan color, and I actually feel like I'd wear this in the summer and not in the fall or winter, just because I tend to go more to like bronzy or tan looking colors for my eyes, cheeks, and lips in the summer, but it is matte and it's not budging, so it is a pretty well-to-do lipstick. So that is it for Ipsy. I'm gonna move on to Beauty Box 5. So I'm really hoping that this month for at least Beauty Box 5 is Halloween, but on the card it just says that it is effortlessly alluring and that has nothing to do with either fall or Halloween. So let's take a look and see what's in the box. First thing in the box is some Nana Coco nail polish in a beautiful blue color. It's called Romantic Cruise. And as soon as I actually saw the color of this, it instantly made me think of going on a vacation just because it just screams summer and beach and tan. Nothing like fall, nothing like Halloween, maybe winter if I wanted to go with snowflake look, but definitely not for Halloween. So this would have been beautiful to have in the summer boxes. Next thing is some Bella Pierre Cosmetics, and we have had Bella Pierre in Beauty Box 5 before. Actually really, really good makeup, so if you ever can get your hands on Bella Pierre, I think we had a lipstick from them, and it was amazing. And this is some Cheek Stain in the color pink, and again, extremely vibrant, extremely summery looking, and not at all for the fall, so I don't know what's going on. The next thing in here is some Lash M Picture Perfect Instant Wrinkle Reducer. And I absolutely love anything to do with wrinkles. I feel like I don't have any, but you can never be too sure. I'm getting into that age bracket where I'm going to start to produce some wrinkles. So anything that's going to like vanish them, I'm all for. And this says, Bye Bye Wrinkles, Hello Beautiful. I've never heard of Lash M before, so hopefully this is a good thing that I can throw in the suitcase because I, again, am going on a trip, so any little samples will be fine with me. So the next thing that I'm seeing in the box is some chapstick, and us Canadians can never get enough chapstick, and I'm seeing that this is a dual stick. This is new. I've never seen this in any drugstores or anything like that before. I'm seeing that the first half of the stick is for daytime and it gives you SPF 12 with a skin protectant for extra conditioning for your lips. And I never ever ever remember to use chapstick with any type of SPF in it at all. So the fact that this is in here, that's a plus. And for the nighttime, there is a nighttime chapstick. It says that it helps replenish your overnight lips with some Tamuna oil and natural butters. That is quite nifty. I've never seen that before. So that is probably the coolest thing I've seen in this month's boxes. The last thing in the Beauty Box 5 is not a makeup product, it's a tool. And it is the Extend Your Beauty Cosmetic Tool, which allows you to get up to 25% more 
product. And it looks like it's a little tiny baby spatula and it helps you get everything that gets in the corner of your bottles that you cannot get out with just the actual tool itself. I think this is amazing. This is probably the most ingenious thing I've ever seen. I've never thought to even use a little baby spatula in anything that I own. So the fact that Extend Your Beauty has made this for me, that's pretty awesome. I love this. I'm going to use this. So that is it guys. Those are what was in my Beauty Box and Ipsy subscriptions this month. And as a whole, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was so stoked for this month, especially because it was October. As you know, October is my favorite time of the year. And I really thought that both subscription boxes would do something Halloween-y. Maybe something to amp up your costume, maybe false eyelashes, nail colors that were darker, darker makeup. We didn't get that with any of them. Ipsy was a candied look inspiration and nothing in there screamed candy at all. Maybe the eyeshadow, that was it. But other than that, it didn't even really follow a trend. And then Beauty Box 5, again, was all over the place. They sometimes follow trends, they sometimes don't. But Beauty Box 5, I think, is the winner this time around. Just because the nail color is beautiful and I will be using that for the summertime. The spatula is amazing. And the chapstick was my favorite out of everything. So Beauty Box 5 is the winner this month. So let me know what you guys got in your subscription boxes. Did you get Ipsy this month? Did you get Beauty Box 5? Let me know what you got in yours. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye. Like, I try so hard to convince my family to drink hot apple cider, eat soup in August when it's still hotter than balls weather, and I, like, get my whole house all cozy, warm with candles, even though the fan and AC is still blaring.